good? Okay, guys, so now let's talk about units. What do the beaker and the graduated cylinder measure? What are the measurements on them? Does anyone know? Victoria, do you have a guess? What are the measurements on the beaker and the graduated cylinder? Do you need to look at yeah, one? She got it. She knows it. That was right. Milli milliliters? Masha? Not millimeters. That measures length. It's milliliters. So let's talk about for a second what a liter is and what a milliliter is. So this graduated cylinder is one liter. It's one liter big. So if I fill this with water, then I have one liter of water. And can you look at, can you look at this and tell me how many milliliters in total? 1,000. So 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. And if you guys, if you want to think about the scale, this big water bottle is one and a half liters. So this is one and a half liters of water. Can anyone tell me how many milliliters would be in this? If 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter, then how many milliliters are in one and a half liters? 1.5 liters. Erica? 1,500 milliliters, that's right. And just so that you have an idea, one milliliter is about 15 drops of water. Ready? Want to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Okay, maybe it's about twenty. So look, you can see on the graduated cylinder. Can you read that? Do you see one? One milliliter? Well, almost filled it. It's not one? It's an app. What do you see? Get down on eye level. What do you see? One. Can someone from this table verify? Julia, what do you see? Do you see one? You want one? One. So about 20 drops of water is one milliliter. So that's small, right? That's only a little bit of, of liquid. Do you see two? One. one. Okay. In the back. Gavin, will you pass this to the back to show them? Thank you. Oh, sorry. So if you guys want to write on your note sheets, 1,000 milliliters equals one liter. In and we write milliliters as a little m and an uppercase L. And the liter, the unit for liter is just an uppercase L, okay? So write that on your note sheet so that you can look back and, and remember. Graduated cylinder. 
We have 10 and a 15. So we want to figure out what each of these lines represents. Who can figure it out? Truly? What? Units? How many, how many milliliters does each line represent? What do you think? Five. You think five? Okay, ready? So if I have 10 milliliters and then I add five, I'll get to 15 right here. But 15's up here. So what does this one have to be? Julia? One. One. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So what if the volume in the graduated cylinder goes up to here? And this is all liquid. How many do we have? How many milliliters? Do you think 13? Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's move on to the second one then. If we have 10 milliliters down here and 20 milliliters labeled up here, who can figure out what each of these little lines are? Dongi? You think they're five? Each little one? Okay, so if I have 10 and then I go up to this line and I have five, then I'm gonna get 15. And then I'm at 20 here. So five might be a little too big. Okay. One. So ten. Good job. So look at the difference. This one measures one milliliter, and this one also measures one milliliter, but these lines are a lot smaller. That's because the scale is different. So you have to make sure when you're using instruments like graduated cylinders and beakers, you have to look, read the line, and figure out what each line represents. And what can we also say about this line in the middle? What does this one represent? What do you think? Five? Well, yeah, it was adding five. It's five more than 10, so what would that be? Fifteen. Who said it? Fifteen. Yes, you're right. So this one in the middle is 15. It might not say it, on the graduated cylinder, but that's what it means, okay? And now, the third one's a little bit harder. What do we think? We start at zero, and we go to 25, and there are four lines in between. What do you think? They each go by five? Do you guys think that's right? Yes. So zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, good job. So you all have four practice graduated cylinders on your worksheets. Can you look and, and see how much liquid is in each one? Make sure you pay attention to the scale and figure out what each line represents, okay? Each little ticket is five. So where's the water at each little ticket? Look at the amount of milliliters you have and convert it to liters. One milliliter is equal to so you count by five. You don't know. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Nope. By five. One. What? Nope. You go by five. Yep. Which one? Five. One milliliter. Okay. Can I see your pencil? So five. One. 